Toby and I are going out. Today is March 8th, 2017. We're walking out to plant onion seed. According to a chart, I will insert a picture right now. It is an app that you can download for just a couple dollars or you can go online and to their website and get their chart. And it says for my area of East Central Indiana, now is a good time for onions. Look, the goats are out walking. Look at them run over. Do you think I got treats, guys? Hey, girls. And it's very windy, so I might not be able to pick this up. And we may have snow in a few days. But we're going to follow the schedule. Okay, so Toby who's an annoying 13 year old and doesn't want to be on the camera here is the center between these two fence areas so we are going to plant our onions down through there i have this pint and i have two quarts of hollyhock seeds that have from very uh nice couple plants last year we saved all the seed off of it and got two quarts and a pint so on the end of these rows we're going to plant some of these hollyhock seeds and we'll see how it does first things going in the ground on march 8th okay i did this part Okay, you got to go back over and clean that, the old uh, vines out. He has to not be on the camera, so I'm trying to be nice to him and not show his head. Yeah, you're just barely going to scrape it along the ground. You're just cleaning up the big clumps. You have to reach down with your hands and pull those old vines away. It's a pretty good straight line, Toby, for just eyeballing it. Good work. Now go over it again, and whenever you get to those thick vines out there, pull them out. Hurry up before your cat uses it as a kitty litter box. Remember, don't step on where you're making the ground soft. Okay, knock the weeds over to the side. Good work. You're going to have to chop that section of weeds out. Go back up there and chop that out. Toby. Yeah, right there. Okay, now dig down and pull. Not that hard. Pull. It's like a grassy, weedy patch. Chop it out. Chop out more of it. You don't want those roots growing back over there. Chop, chop, chop. It's okay if you make a hole. You're digging out those crazy roots. They're already growing. Notice that it's weeds that grow first. Before any plants that we want. Okay. Go back up here and then retrace your steps. I'm not finished. I know. Scoot back up here and then go over it again. Don't fill it in. You're just pulling in weeds. Drag it back out. Okay. Yeah. Just pull it smooth. Okay, stop. Shove that junk over to the side. Drag it. Keep cleaning it out. You don't want it laying on there. You got it looking pretty good. Okay, that's not too bad. Do it a couple more times and then be ready to go. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Um, let's see. 
Mittens is that cat, and this little kitten, young kitten, is called Boots. Hi, Boots. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay, Toby is taking the hollyhocks. I can't, but the wind was blowing, so he just picked out a little pinch. He thinks it had about five to ten seeds, and just gently push them lightly down in the ground at each end. I'm going to walk you over here where the hollyhocks, they've been volunteer plants that come up here a couple times. And they just have re, re come up in nice, big, beautiful clumps for the last couple years. So. We're just letting those stay there. And like I said, out of those two clumps, last fall we've got two quart jars and one pint jar full of seed. And I even gave away seed to people. So that was a good time. Here is the onion seed that we have. They're from MI Gardener. Um, I recommend checking out their YouTube channel. And I was able to get these for 10% off. A lot of seed. I got a lot of nice seed. 10% off. If you check um, Arms Family Homestead or Tangi the Caver's Wife, you will be able to get information from them on codes for 10% off. And I highly recommend them. Um, 99 cents. 250 of each seed. That extra 10% off. Um, just adds to the bargain but we have white sweet Spanish and yellow sweet Spanish Utah that we got from them and uh, it's my dad thinks I'm crazy he's an 80 year old gardener his whole life but he said you know what it's seed so yeah give it a try and sure enough here on March 8th we're gonna give it a try right Toby <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with the white onion seed. And if you can tell how tiny an onion seed is, look how tiny. And when you have seed and you're starting it in your garden or greenhouse, you only want enough dirt to cover the size of the seed. So a lot of people will want to shove something in. But onions, you want to have loose on the ground. So this can be very tedious work. And as my grandpa used to tell me, tiny seeds like this, a woman always seems to be able to plant them better. She has more patience to put them in the ground and to do them one by one. Yes, we have 250 seeds in this packet. For our time here in Indiana and we want to just do an experiment and see how they go. So Toby get us a blue flag or I'll grab a blue, a blue flag. Okay so that's how many that might have been about a dozen white onion seeds. Let's go down to the next flag. Okay next we're going to work on the yellow seed knock them down and again you will notice tiny tiny and we just do the same process I pick up one between my fingernails gently lay it down knock a little dirt on it pull up some of the nearby weeds as I'm out here We get any of the snow that's forecast to fall on Saturday. 
it really shouldn't hurt a crop like this. Um, this time of year, when we do get snow here in Indiana, it doesn't last long. There's an old piece of a crockery pot, like you would use, um, like an, a crock pot, or a crock that you'd use for making pickling and things like that. An old busted up piece. Okay. All right, Toby. Ready to go check out animals? I'm not joking. Two times? Okay. Run your dogs. Thank <laughs> you.